Hi there students, Mrs. B here. Let's talk about our lesson we're gonna be working on from home, and that is let's draw hot chocolate. First of all, we have a little debate in our house. Do you call it hot chocolate or do you call it hot cocoa? I don't need to know the answer yet. Maybe I'll ask in a little bit, but um, something to think about because we all call it something different here. Before we get started, let's learn a little bit about hot chocolate around the world. Did you know that hot chocolate is also popular in many other countries? Oh my goodness, I am getting hungry and thirsty just looking at these. Take a look here. This is a traditional Mexican hot chocolate um, that is served during winter holidays like La Posadas, but it has um, an ingredient in it that's a, a similar or same ingredient used to make tortillas. So it has a really beautiful texture. Here is an example in the middle of Filipino hot chocolate from the Philippines. Um, it also has a kind of a grainy taste and a froth. I've never tried this one, but I would love to. It looks so good. And then another one here on the right is from France, um, sometimes in Belgium as well. It's like this. And I've actually had this before when I was in Paris and it was so good. They brought us these cups of um, more or the little pitcher of, of really thick melted chocolate, this little bowl of just piled up whipped cream, and you pour the chocolate into the steamy milk and add the cream, and it is so, so good. But you are so full, you could only have one little cup because there is so much melted chocolate in it. So no matter how you make it or whether you like it or don't like it, um, it is a really beautiful thing to look at hot chocolate even, and all the textures and colors and the way it's served in cups. So let's take a look at what we are going to do. We are going to create a drawing of hot cocoa or hot chocolate in order to practice drawing forms. So that's gonna make it look like a 3D cup to create personal details in a drawing because you're not just gonna copy mine and to learn about other cultures and of course to have fun. But first, oops, but first, I'm going to make this a little bit more fun with a contest. So you're going to complete this drawing assignment and turn it in on Google Classroom by the due date. I will draw 20 names of students who finished the drawing and turned it in on time. And those 20 students will be invited for hot chocolate in the art room on a morning before school when we get back. If for some reason we can't do hot chocolate together or if you're remote, I will make a little to-go kit um, for a really cute way for you to enjoy and make hot chocolate on your own. Either way, there will be some kind of hot chocolate prize for 20 students whose names I will draw from everyone who turns in the drawing on time. Let's get started. You will need paper. Um, I prefer blank paper, like from... Um, a sketchbook, or it could be um, from a printer, like printer paper. Um, if you only have lined paper, that's fine, but I would prefer blank paper, or even if something you have um, another paper that you maybe junk mail or something, and the back of it is blank, I would prefer blank paper, but use what you have. You'll need a pencil, and if you need to erase, you'll need an eraser, and then you'll need something to add color to your drawings, and I know that you have some kind of school supplies at home. It could be markers, colored pencils or crayons. And then of course you're going to need art, your art Google Classroom um, so you can turn it in because that will be posted under classwork. Let's get started. There's always an ad, isn't there? Okay, so we are going to get started. And this is an example of drawing a mug of hot um, chocolate. We did something like this for art club before, so I want to show it to you. So we're gonna get started on our paper. And we're gonna start with a sideways oval, a sideways oval. Do you see how I sketched it even a couple times? Sideways oval, that's gonna be the top of our cup. So if it's not perfect, you can just fix it a little bit we're gonna draw two lines that come down from that mug. Again, doesn't have to be perfect, no such thing. Just do your best. And then we're going to put a curved 
U line that kind of matches those upper curved lines at the bottom. To draw our handle, and I know you can make your handle a different shape, mine is like a backward C shape. And then we're going to draw, we're going to repeat that shape on the inside. There we go. And again, if you want your handle to have a little bit of a different shape, you can do that. Erasing that where it connects can make it look like it's attached to the side of the mug. You don't have to do that, but it looks nice. So what we're going to do now is draw the hot chocolate in the mug. First, we're going to have marshmallows, though. So this is how I'm going to draw marshmallows. If you don't want marshmallows in yours, you don't have to draw these. The way we draw marshmallows is an oval, two lines down, and a U line on the bottom. And I'm turning my paper here so that we can draw them going different ways. Kind of like the cup, because a marshmallow is like the same form. It's a cylinder like a mug. So if you're going to draw a cinnamon stick or a peppermint stick coming out of your hot chocolate, you should do that right now too. Because then we're going to make this rainbow line over the top to show that that is the hot cocoa or hot chocolate in our mug. So we want to make, well, let me do this real quick and show you. If you want a cinnamon stick or a peppermint stick, same thing. It's also a cylinder, an oval, sideways oval at the top, two lines coming down. Oh gosh, I'm kind of sketching a little bit over my lines here, but it's okay. This, this is how we learn. This is how we do this stuff sometimes is to draw a few lines. So if you want to draw stripes, let me show you that. You'll have U lines that go down the stick. Um, they're U lines and not straight because we want it to look round. So if you want a stripe, same thing. Your line has to be slightly round, that same kind of U shape that we have there. So you can make this mug however you want. I don't want it to look just like mine. I need it to look like, um, like it's yours, like you created it. You didn't copy it from somewhere. So you could put your favorite video game character on here or cartoon character. This could be like your name on it with your favorite Among Us character. It could be um, winter trees. It could be like patterns or Zentangle patterns we drew in class. Um, maybe you liked drawing a city in class. So you want to draw a city on the mug. Or maybe you just want stripes and patterns and things like that. I'm going to make mine simple right now to show you. Um, so this is just like a flower on the mug. I know sometimes we think of hot chocolate as something during the holidays, but this is something that people drink all year. We just usually enjoy it more in the winter. Here's another example. So this one on the right, um, I outlined in marker and then colored it with colored pencil. This one on the left is with pencil. If you have a black or brown or purple or blue marker, something dark, I would recommend you outline it. I think it will look a little bit better, um, at least to make it stand out. But you can still do it with just pencil if you don't have that and then add color. Um, so if you don't have colored pencils with you, and again, please look, please ask your parents. Um, don't just say you don't have them and not go look for it. Please look for at least a couple colored pencils. Um, so you're going to add color to this. Um, if you don't have a brown, you could make it pink hot chocolate or blue hot chocolate. Sometimes you maybe seen that before. So please add color. Um, if you really have no colored pencils, crayons, markers, or anything in your house and your parent said, or your guardian said, nope, we don't have any of that in our house, then you'll need to shade it with a pencil. Um, so do some of these things just with your pencil. But again, try to find at least a couple colors. So we're going to add color to this, and I'm going to speed this up a little bit just because I know that you know how to do some shading, and I'll show you a little bit more and pause it again. Do you see how I took – do you remember how I said if you don't have a marker or a pencil to outline it a little bit? Well, I just took my regular pencil, and I added dark. And I'm going to add shading to the side. So you can still take your pencil and just go darker on the edges too. If you're using pencil for shading, 
You can add a little bit of shading like this. I'm doing it very quickly. You can take your time, do it a little bit nicer, but you can use your finger to blend or a tissue and then erase the extra smudges. So here's an example of a couple ways to do this. So let's take a look now at our next step. So remember, you should make your drawing unique. That means it's just your drawing. It doesn't look like anybody else's. Don't copy the examples I'm showing you like here or in the video, um, or don't copy something that you saw somewhere else. These are just for you to kind of brainstorm your own ideas for your own art. And again, as a reminder, like I always say, you should do the drawing by yourself without help from anyone and without tracing. I don't care if it's perfect. I just want you to do it so you can learn and grow. So here's some ideas to make it unique and more about you. You could draw your favorite cartoon character or video game dude on the mug. You could write your name on the mug in artistic letters or block letters and then color that in. You could add a peppermint stick like I showed you or a cinnamon stick to your mug. You could add a background behind your mug. Use your favorite colors or someone else's favorite colors to make a beautiful mug with some of your favorite colors and patterns. Um, you could draw something on the mug that we drew in class this year. Maybe if you drew a city with me or winter trees or leaves or patterns, um, something you already know how to draw. You could add steam if you want. You could add a background. You could add whipped cream. Just have fun. Try your best and turn it in on Google Classroom when you're finished. Have fun and I cannot wait to see your beautiful, wonderful hot cocoa or hot chocolate drawings. Talk to you soon.